Ladies, we know the clock is ticking, but some guys don't want to settle down. <laughs> well, it turns out men just don't want to tie the knot, and I guess it's our fault. That's according to a controversial new book called Stand By Your Manhood, a Game Changer for Modern Men. Joining us right now to offer her perspective for this debate, uh, the author who is defending his book, Peter Lloyd, and developmental psychologist, Dr. Cooper Lawrence. Welcome to both of you. Thank First, you. Uh, all right, Mr. Author, you've gotten us into a lot of trouble. What are women doing to men to make them not want to get married? It's all right. I, I feel pretty safe. I, you know, I, we have an Atlantic Ocean between us, so I feel pretty yeah, safe here it. that I can discuss it with that. There are people there who can <laughs> be true. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. What do you base that on? I can on, imagine. Peter? But look. I always say marriage is the fraud of the rings if you're a man. It's a wonderful institution if you're a woman because it safeguards you in so many ways. But generally, when marriages go wrong, as they frequently do, they generally fall in the favor of women. This is true in both America and in the UK. And let's be honest here, it's a contract. It's a legally binding contract, and it serves men not at all. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, men need to be wise to it and avoid it at all costs. Peter, do you blame feminism? Um, I think there is a certain strand of feminism which has prioritized the safeguarding of women over men, even though we're all supposed to be equal. Uh, and I think what, what's happened is that now we live in a society where we're told men can't view women as sex objects, but women can view men as success objects, and uh, that mm -hmm. needs to change. I want right. to bring in Cooper. Dr. Cooper Lawrence here. Okay, no, that, first huh? of all, I mean, I have to go with the research. I mean, I think a lot of what Peter talks about is very anecdotal, but what the research shows is that women feel the same way. It's not just men. It's not like um, men are the ones who are deciding, you know, marriage isn't for me and women are trying to trap me. You know, the latest research shows that women feel the same way, and between the ages of 18 and 30, the emerging adults, they're less likely to want to get married at all. There was a Pew study done recently. 25% of millennials just never want to get married at all. That's women and men. And the, and the majority are also women. So the idea that men are being trapped by women is ridiculous. Do you believe that women are, are to blame here? And do you believe that men should be running from marriage when it comes to families? Let's not think. All, a lot of marriages include children, and we've seen the benefits of marriage as it pertains to kids. You know, it's funny. Ask Men did this study recently, and they, they, they asked men. They asked 20,000 men, do you want to get married? 95% said absolutely. Marriage is definitely in my long-term plan. But the research is showing that men are getting married later, that women are getting married later, that people are getting married later. Mm -hmm. So I think what Peter's talking about might be people in their 20s right. and 30s. Peter, once you get older. Right. Peter, you're more focused on divorce. When divorce happens, your, your research shows men get screwed. They lose half of what they have, and they can't see their kids in a lot of cases. Yeah, absolutely. It happens all the time. And this is after, don't forget, this is after 50 years of so-called, you know, equality drive from feminism. If feminism was such a, a, you know, an equality movement, and don't get me wrong, it's done some wonderful things, but if it was such an equality movement, why would it allow fathers to be so disenfranchised from families? Why would it even allow the very existence of alimony, which is such an old-fashioned concept? So I'm sorry, the very, the, the very basis of equality is that men don't need to subsidize women because they're independent and they can pay for we their own lives there. and their we own do, lives. We, we, actually, we talked about sure. this on my radio show last night, and I was really surprised how many men and how many women called and said, you know, I don't want... A for the rest of my life. I want to be able to make my own Some money. Do. And they Some don't. do. Well, if, if you gave up your life for a man and decided to have children and be home and you don't have a career, that's very different. But most of the women that called my radio show had their own lives and their own careers, and they were the ones that were being asked to pay alimony. Well, and so, child support. So I, well, child support, I think everybody should pay. That's, I mean, child support's important. Yeah. We're talking about alimony. Absolutely. Free money for a, for a succession of years. All right. Uh, Dr. Cooper Lawrence here in the United States and Peter Lloyd, the author of the new book, New Controversial book, Stand By Your Manhood. <laughs>